Uh, Norman Brennan, firstly, former police officer. Norman, we've spoken goodness knows how many times over the years on all manner of issues. Uh, what, what's your initial response, uh, whilst I'm sure understanding the frustration of what's happening with uh, colleagues of yours, particularly these police officers, uh, but what do you make of where this case is at, or isn't at, and the move by Reform UK to do something about it? Well, the big ones you'd be in, um, this place, this particular incident should have been put to bed uh, within a week or two weeks of the crimes being committed. Uh, over in Argentina, when the uh, One Direction young lad fell out of the window or jumped out of the window, uh, tragically died, uh, the Argentinian police looked at 800 hours of uh, CCTV, took dozens of statements, and there were three people charged within three weeks. Yeah. Well, that's how quick they work. Well, over here, uh, this is now four months, and I'm a seasoned detective. Uh, I did 31 years, and there won't be many other serving detectives or retired detectives and police officers that couldn't have put a file together. And when we actually put a file together, Ian, we have normally gained all the evidence for to support any charges. Now, normally, we engage with the CPS as the investigation progresses and because this was so high profile the local cps and national cps would have been kept advised almost on a daily basis because mm. of the huge public interest so by the time the cps were given the full and completed file which is about 10 11 weeks ago they would know what charge or charges that needed preferred against these individuals and what they are is an affray section three of the uh, the criminal law, certainly the Public Order Act, it would have been ABH on the female officer whose nose was broken and assault on emergency workers for all of the police officers who were assaulted. It really is as simple as that. Do you sense then um, that given the nature of this, you know, what, what, is, what seems to have changed the, uh, the, the, the kind of conventional order of events, let's put it like that, with this particular story, of course, is it first came to light with video images that looked like uh, an assault by a police officer on a member of the public. And then, of course, as we all remember, Norman, fairly soon afterwards, we then got the, the fuller context and more CCTV that showed a very different story. It, it's, it's not a stretch, is it, to think that there's a political angle or component at play here where the two events are being interlinked for whatever reason, and no announcement is being made until both of those events are investigated. They, they could easily be done in isolation. Charges against uh, the alleged as, um, offenders, as you rightly say, assault on police, etc., could have just happened within weeks. But given what else happened, there's an IOPC element to this, which is the game changer here. Do you think that's what's going on? Oh, absolutely, without a doubt. Because of the recent riots in Harefields uh, and because of the huge public interest here, and don't forget, as you rightly highlighted, we were only told, and which so often happens on social media, we were given a convenient clip. And even I thought, goodness me, that certainly looks uh, dreadful when you saw uh, an armed officer stamp uh, and kick uh, an individual that was on the ground. But the context soon came when we saw the second video and we actually saw that all the police officers were violently assaulted. Now, what's happened is because a complaint has been made against a police officer, in fact, two, one was the one that used his foot and the second one was another incident that has happened out of sight. Yeah. That goes to the IOPC. And as a result of that, they are now dragging their feet. But Ian, just like I said about the file we gave the Crown Prosecution Service, the Independent Office of Police Conduct would have the identical file. Sure. And if there's a charge to be preferred against the officer, which may well be common assault and battery, then at least let's charge people. But what I think is the real uh, point here, which you've highlighted, is that nobody knows on who to charge or make a decision with first. Yeah. So what I think they're going to do is they are going to look to try and release on the same day at the same press conference with the chief constable and the cps yeah. that both sides will be charged so there won't be one side saying 
you preferred us over and above the other Correct. side. Yeah, I, I, I sense that. And I remember early doors when this happened, uh, thinking something like this would be played out. And I think you, you, you've, you've probably, we will wait to see, but probably identified exactly what that's going to look like. Listen, Norman, thank you as ever.